In today's video, we're going to be talking about this one question that I get asked so often, and that is how much stomach is going to be removed in my gastric sleeve? Well, to give you a little bit of a background, friends, the gastric sleeve operation is basically performed in two key steps. The stomach is an organ like a bag. That's the best analogy that we can give you. When we start the first part of the operation that essentially involves freeing up what is called as the greater curvature of the stomach or the outside of the stomach. This is done by using special energy devices so that we slowly take care of all the blood vessels all along the outer curvature of the stomach. The next step is that of putting in a special calibration tube, which is like a long tube that allows us to leave a set amount of stomach behind that we can measure and it is consistent in every case. Once that tube goes in, as you can see, it is going all the way down to the bottom end of the stomach. Then we use this special stapling device. This stapling device not only seals the sides, but then cuts in the middle as well. So it's a very important, crucial part where the stomach that once it is freed up, it essentially is cut all along that line just outside the bougie or the calibration tube. So coming back to the question that how much stomach is removed in my gastric sleeve, well, I say the bigger point here is that how much stomach is going to be left behind. Because you know what? The funny thing is sometimes people come and ask me, oh, can you remove a little bit more for me? And some say, no, can you remove a little bit less for me? Based on, you know, uh, it's not like the adjustable lap band. Sleeve aims to leave a consistent amount of stomach in an individual every time and the consistent amount is about 120 to 150 mils almost the size of a banana that's the best analogy that i can give you the other thing is to put a little lighter note on it is that it's, it's just that you know if you're going for a haircut and you want to have one consistent style every time because that is your uniform style does it matter how much hair uh, has been cut off or does it matter more to you what has been left behind and that's the analogy that can be applied to the sleeve gastrectomy but what is the scientific reason behind it friends that is crucial to understand and the key thing is there are these three key components for it the first thing is about getting the right amount of restriction restriction is something that smaller amount of stomach will be able to give you satisfaction with a smaller amount of food 120 to 150 mils is what we say is adequate for you to have a meal size portion which can be filled fitted onto a quarter plate then the next important aspect is that of hunger suppression as we know there are cells in that part of the stomach which produce your hunger hormone this hunger hormone ghrelin is the key hormone that we understand and has been extensively studied which actually is an important part of hunger regulation once that is taken away individuals experience a significant drop in their hunger levels and this remains persistent for up to three to five years after gastric sleeve but the most important part why we are wanting a consistent uh, sort of you know a tube or a consistent amount of stomach to be left behind is to maintain the nutrition because you need that minimum amount of stomach to maintain your protein carbohydrates and fat intake but more importantly the micronutrients and the vitamins so hopefully you found this video useful and it explains to you uh, in the answer about how much stomach is left behind versus how important it is to leave the amount of stomach that we leave behind. If you found this video useful, please do share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel for forthcoming videos.